Hello and welcome to our Styro session. My name is Oliver Hahn and for the next 15 to 20 minutes I will be presenting the news around the Stylo. There are a number of news and we start with the new features and changes in the program. We start with a function called recover file. Last November we extended the undo functionality. It's now much more reliable. Thanks to this improvement, we are now able to provide an automatic backup in Stylo. If the browser window is accidentally closed or the power failed, it doesn't matter anymore. You will only miss the last step after loading the automatic backup. I will show you how it works. I make some changes in this ad, like uh, the change the size of this text box and I will change also the text color of this paragraph and also of this paragraph. And now we change another thing and the paragraph format, I have a little bit space above of this paragraph. And after that, I will change this hyphenation. After a reload of the browser window, you see this message and you can now load the document from the storage. And you see, we have all changes in this document, like uh, the color and like the space. Uh, only we lost the hyphenation, our last step. We come to the next function. Sometimes you just need more space. A new function helps here. You can enlarge the stylo window now. So I change here uh, some text. Um, we are here in the stylo frame. It's a presentation environment, not a real environment. And now we can press this button and then reload stylo in our own window. You see that here. Um, we have the change from the parent window and now I do some other changes. And I will remove the last line and have a short look here in the red bordered uh, area. And I make the change. Uh, the values also change in the parent application. And now we close this window and when we go back to a stylo frame, we will have the same document like in the own window. If you zoom in the browser, please do not mix it up with zoom in stylo, then the display has not been very good. That was the status before we changed the functionality. And you see that it's not very good. And this is the new representation. It's a lot sharper than in the older versions from Stylo. It could be even better, but that has to be controlled separately. Like here you see it's a little bit more sharper. However, which requires more main memory. Last summer we had introduced the layer functionality in Stylo. With the November version there are a number of improvements. I would like to present them briefly here. In my layer palette I can change now the color of my level. Um, here we have uh, the green color for the layer top and when I select elements from this layer you see in the document that the handle points and the border are in this color. Here in info is it blue. And the second change what we did is here we can now protect a complete layer so that I'm not able to move or resize uh, an element. We mix the different uh, rights 
so you can here on the layer palette protect um, the elements and though I am not able to type in some text in this text box and I can also protect the level so and I when I release this layer so I'm not able to change this text box because the text box itself is uh, protected. The next function is interesting for template creators, I think. So it's a function filler text. I show you how it works. So you have here a function filler text and you can use it in empty text boxes. So if you resize your text box, make it bigger, then the filler text is flexible. So it works only in this one direction. So if you do some change in your text box, like you make it as um, dummy text, then you fill text in this uh, text box and then you make an uh, undo like that and now I remove some text you see the filler text it's not longer available for you. So the text what we have it's a lorem ipsum text as default uh, you can also use the filler text with your own text so because sometimes it's better because the hyphenation in your own language it's uh, better to see with uh, your own text than with a uh, text like lorem ipsum what it's coming from a fantasy language. We did some improvement for the user interface in the last month. The first is that we added uh, some shortcuts to select text via keyboard and also with the uh, 2021.4 you have new shortcuts for split line and also for soft hyphen. You find the shortcut list also in the documentation and the doku wiki uh, with all older shortcuts what we have in Stylo. To more information, so it's possible now in Stylo to select text boxes and to give over the text boxes the text color. Uh, until now it was needed that you ha have to select the text. So now it is enough to select the text box. And we add in the paragraph format the possibility to use Unicode to define a separator for the generate functionality. Now it's a question, what is to expect in the next month in Stylo? And to answer this question, I have a short video to introduce on the next steps in Stylo.
So now it's time to give a short impression of the new stylo. So um, we work since last year on the new interface from stylo on the redesign and I give you a short impression live. So we see here Stylo uh, and after reload we have some not notification on the right bottom corner that it's uh, only information or also about success or sometime also over issues in the document like this over text. In the toolbar we have a new fresh design with uh, bigger icons and submenus. Uh, here I can set um, as example the color of my stylo interface. We can change the position of the dialogues and stylo now store this uh, position so that you have not to change any time, every time the windows. That's our new floating menu for text with the most important things like uh, the font style, the font size and the font family and also the text color. And uh, oh, I have some trouble with over text. In my paragraph format, uh, we have not all functionality, uh, functionality what we planned, but you see it's very comfortable. We uh, introduce a um, filter functionality uh, for font families. So that is my Garamond, so I would like this filter, so I can remove it and change to a different font. And all elements are reachable with uh, the keyboard. <coughs> so I close my paragraph format and when I select graphic elements or my text box adds graphic element you see we have a different uh, floating menu so for aligning and to distribute the space as example I draw a new text box and this text box will be aligned to other elements and uh, I will expand my selection and now distribute the space very fast and very nice. For the experts we plan um, that you work with palettes you see that here on the right hand side we uh, plan that for character format for the paragraph format and also for the graphic objects that you can set the position uh, of an object as a rotation and something like that. There will be certain amount to effort involved in a change like that, mainly time effort. It means you have to adapt your documentation, training the stuff, not so much, but uh, it's possible that you want to do that and also for testing. But I think the benefit will outweigh the effort in every case. Because you will have a better performance, a modern appearance and the usability is much more better than in the version what we have at the moment. One point is very important. We will not longer support with the new version uh, the Internet Explorer 11 and older and you have also to know that we will have only one stylo interface and it's not possible to use the old interface. Some functions like the polygons were announced from us were postponed by us. We promise the functions are still coming, but a little bit uh, later we work at the moment very hard on this new interface. 
This brings us to the end. I hope it was interesting for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us every time. My name is Oliver Hahn and I hope to see and hear you again at the next Stylo session. Bye bye.